Hi everyone, welcome back to another pick a card. And for this pick a card, we're gonna be doing November predictions. So go ahead and take the time right now and connect to your higher self and guides and ask which pile should you choose? So this is pile number one, number two, and number three. So take the time right now to do so. All right, we're gonna start with pile number one. So you got the Ace of Water and Waves of Prosperity and the Rainmaker and Frog Spirit and Labradorite. All right, so looking at the Ace of Prosperity, this is all about new beginnings. Ace cards in the tarot are all about new beginnings. And because it's a water energy or the Ace of Cups as the normal or regular tarot you, that you're used to, it's all about um, emotional connection, new beginnings with a new romance, a new uh, adventure, new life path and goals, okay? This does indicate that the month of November is going to be a great start for those who chose this uh, particular pile. Now, Waves of Prosperity, seeing that there's a mermaid on there, so we're still in the energy of water. Again, early November, we still have the energy of Scorpio coming in. <laughs> So we have new abundance and exciting opportunities, okay? So again, you are gonna start to see new things coming in for you, new people coming into your life. If you are single, a possibility that you will begin a new relationship with someone. Uh, if you are married, it's more like a reigniting of that current relationship that you are in, okay? Uh, if you are looking for, um, I would say career progression. This can, this is going to be new people who are going to be able to assist you in that. Those who are already uh, at the top, who have the influence uh, of others, who have the ears of others, you know, things like that. And a possibility that they are going to be able to help you with um, accomplishing any goals that you have when it comes to uh, chasing after your dreams or even progressing in the career that you're currently in. All right. So next one is the Rainkeeper. So the Rainkeeper comes to you because um, this is you understanding that all of these two cards require uh, other energies to come in, right? So other people to come in, all right? So the Ace will require someone new, someone exciting to come in if you are single, as well as the uh, Waves of Prosperity for, for those who need assistance in um, a little boost of understanding how to get what they want. So the Brain Keeper is all about working with other people working with other people to succeed in your goals, okay? It is also about um, making sure that when you are getting what you want, like all your dreams are coming true, the uh, flow of abundance and prosperity is coming in, you have enough money, more than enough money for yourself, then you need to share that with others, with your loved ones, with whoever it is that you, uh, even if it's not, you know, physical money that you're sharing, it's kind of like giving thanks, being in gratitude that these people that came into your life are assisting you with this uh, flow of prosperity and abundance, okay? So that's what the Rainkeeper uh, or the Rainmaker is all about because she brings rain to the entire world to replenish and cleanse and to uh, assist with the plants that grow and things like that. And so she is assisting. She is the energy of prosperity and abundance, okay? She's the energy of uh, creating uh, things as well, okay? So this is what this energy is asking you to do, is sharing in the wealth that you have. Uh, maybe helping by motivating others to do the same thing, you know, things like that, all right? So next one is frog spirit. Clearing out your clutter. So... <sighs> removal of things that no longer serve you. So mindset, 
if you have a negative mindset about out outcome, if you truly have this fear-based mentality regarding the success of any of your uh, plans, any of your goals, career, even your love life, then you it's time for you to sit with yourself and declutter that and remove it and heal that because it doesn't serve you. All right. Uh, if you've been going through cycles of prosperity and then all of a sudden you don't have any, or you're feeling like uh, you're missing the boat or you're feeling like, oh, my God, I've been uh, working so hard. How come this other person is getting more in from uh, abundance than me? You know, things like that. All of that needs to be decluttered. All of that needs to be removed and released from your mind. Why? Because it serves, you no. It's like it doesn't serve a purpose. It only serves you to uh, continue to, to uh, perpetuate that cycle of uh, not having enough and then being under stress. OK, so Frog Spirit asks you to take the time to remove that mindset, to let go of it because you are enough. OK, you have more than enough. You've been working your ass off. Therefore, you deserve everything that's coming to you. All of this prosperity, all of this abundance, all of this love, all of this light, you know, all of everything that you've ever wanted. You deserve it and more. OK, so next is Labradorite. So Labradorite assists us with grounding our thoughts and, and ideas. It also assists you with uh, manifesting your reality. So this stone is usually connected to the magician or the magician is able to create from a thought, create the world around him. OK, and that's the same thing with Labradorite. It will assist you with moving from the mental body or the thoughts and the ideas into the material. OK, manifesting it into magic, abracadabra and poof, there it is. OK, so that is what that stone will help you with for this month. OK, so that is all I have for you guys. Next is pile number two. So for pile number two, we have the Ten of Fire. We have positive energy. We have the Earth Keeper. The Chameleon Spirit. And Citrine. All right, so the Ten of Fire is the equivalent of the Ten of Wands, okay? And... 10 always represents endings. All right. So 10 is about releasing. OK. And another thing about this, because it's a fire energy, we are honing in on that Sagittarius energy coming in mid November. All right. So we are releasing the old thought forms, anything that limits us, anything that we are or we've actually gone through in early November when Scorpio was uh, in charge. OK, uh, anything like that, emotional things that we had to um, reassess and heal. OK, so the 10 is all about endings, ending that phase of your life, ending that cycle, because we have to move on. All right. We have to move on. We have to grow. All right. So the next one is positive energy. This is all about making sure that you change your mindset, making sure that during Scorpio season before Sagittarius comes up about mid-November, like I said before, you have to do the work in order for you to be able to move on with your life, in order for you to seek more prosperous roads, in order for you to seek true love and bliss, okay? Make sure that your energy is positive after you do all the work. Make sure that you acknowledge the work that you've done and how far you've come. OK, and another thing about positive energy is making sure you you're removing people from your life that are not assisting you in transformation, in making things better for you. OK, all of those negative people, all of those people who want you or they actually desire for you to fail, you need to let them go. OK. And and also when you start doing uh, or when you start thinking positively about your life, about yourself, about outcomes, that's how you transform everything. And that's how you allow the uh, prosperity to flow. OK. Next one is the Earth Keeper. 
And so the earth keepers are usually the ones that take care of the earth and everything in it okay not only the earth okay life itself on the earth all right so usually are the people who are um environmentalists they're usually the people who take care of animals uh usually people who take care of children and women and men okay does there's no real prejudice for the earth keepers okay so if you chose this card, it's time for you to connect with this energy. Time for you to start to do the work that you're here uh, to do, okay? The Earth Keepers are here to help the progression of the Ascension process, all right? They are here to connect with the Earth and the Earth needs as well as assist other people as well. This is not about dictating what people should do. This is not about judging people because they don't follow the same mindset as you do, okay, or the same rules as you do. These earth keepers are way different than what you are used to seeing, okay? These are not those um, people who are attacking others on social media, who are attacking people, who are protesting and being negative, okay? These people are mindful of all energies and how all energies play a role and they are accepting of all energies, understand? So this is who you really are. Those people who pick this pile need to balance this energy within, okay? You are an earth keeper, therefore this card came up for you for your reading and it's time for you to move on, okay? Move on from all the negativity, change your mindset so that you can start to do your work and what you're here to do as well, okay? All right, next one is chameleon spirit. Act as if everything that I've told you is already happening, okay? The chameleon comes on when it's time for you to transform and let go of things. When it's time for you to understand what energy is. When it time, it's time for you to understand the actual universal truth and knowledge and wisdom of why you are here, your creation, and what you're here to do for the ascension process, okay? With the chameleon spirit, you are able to um, have a sense of like um, coming in and out of energy, okay? You're able to hone in on all of the energies. You're able to understand that they all work together. Uh, they all become you, okay? Yes, oneness is real. When you think of oneness, that means that every single person outside of you, every single animal, every single plant, everything in creation is you and is within you, okay? Why? Because you are one with creator, and creator is us, all right? So that's what the chameleon shows us. Look at all the different colors that the chameleon can uh, blend into its skin. This is what that chameleon spirit represents, is you being able to adapt, you being able to hone in on and accept and integrate, as well as assist others to do the same when it comes to things that we're seeing on the earth plane, okay? Next one is citrine. Citrine is all about healing, okay? So, and as well as it's about um, perseverance, as well as um, prosperity. So, using citrine to heal your heart, again, we're leaving things behind. We're moving into more positive mindset, okay, so that you can start doing your work. So citrine, using it as an ally to help you heal your heart, to mend it, and then to help you uh, bring in more strength and perseverance into your mindset, into your being. That's what citrine will bring you. And then in so many ways, from that uh, mindset, you will start to see the flow of abundance, okay? So this is what this month is all about for you, whoever picked uh, this pile. It's gonna be a huge change, okay? Huge change, but positive change, all right? Yes, there's gonna be some struggles, but guess what? You're ready for it, all right? All right, next is pile number three. So we have transformation, making a choice or decision the tree of life. Then we have swan spirit and pink sapphire. 
All right, so transformation at the beginning of November for you guys. Big changes are happening. You guys already feel it. Um, when you are moving from one energy to the next, the transformation, look at, a, look at her little palm. She has fire energy in her palm. So this is all about transitioning from Scorpio energy, which is water, into fire energy, which is the Sagittarius energy, okay? With this being said, in Scorpio, uh, in the, still in the beginning of November, you're going to be asked to change a lot of things about yourself. Change your mindset, for example. Changing it because, remember, when we think about the past, when we think that we've been wronged, that triggers an emotional reaction. And within that emotional reaction, we can fall, uh, you know, deeply into it and then not want to actually do more than just sulk. OK, so that being said, Scorpio season is a best. Uh, it is the best season for you to try to uh, heal yourself. OK, as water energy is healing and Scorpio in particular is all about shadow work. OK, so anything that is hidden within the shadows, anything that you still cannot get over, you need to try to do during Scorpio season because we are changing. We are transforming from victimhood to empowerment, okay? That is the whole point of this. We have to understand that there's cycles to life. There's birth, there is death, and then there's rebirth, okay? So that's what this is all about is understanding what cycle you're in and making sure that you're taking care of the things that you need to take care of in your personal life with your emotions and your thought forms. Okay. So making a choice, making a decision. So this is all about, again, if you're feeling indecisive or stuck, you need to assess what's truly going on within you. There is a reason why this is happening. There is a reason why you feel this way. And usually it has a lot to do with not listening to yourself, okay? Not listening to your intuition that is pointing the finger at the direction that you need to take. Not listening to your needs and your wants, okay? You have emotional triggers, then that means there's something that you're neglecting about yourself, okay? And so that, that's why you have to make a choice to choose your happiness over anything else. All right. And in order for you to be happy, you need to deal with things. You need to be truthful with yourself and honest and deal with the, these things. OK, so you have to choose you. You have to choose to want a better life for yourself. All right. So next one is the tree of life. The tree of life is all about going deep into yourself and creating deep roots so that you are able to understand your life's purpose and you're able to understand and actually um, connect deeply to you as a soul and your needs, okay? Another thing about the tree of life is that the branches are tall and they go really, really up, like really high to the heavens, okay, to creator, all right? So you have to have deep roots in order for these uh, tall branches to grow, okay? Because if you don't have deep roots, then with any storm or any wind, it could just topple you over, all right? So this is all about you making sure that you really, really understand who you are, what you're here to do, and why you are here. And why is it that you're going through these things, okay? This is all about being honest with yourself and also establishing deep roots because when you are rooted in your truth, then you are able to connect to the higher realms. You're able to connect to creator. You're able to finally take those proper steps for you to be successful in this life, for you to assist others. So again, it's kind of like that, that thing where like you want to be of service, but yet you're not serving yourself. 
you have to have balance, okay? And then another thing with the tree of life is having roots in the earth as well as in the heavens, the branches in the heavens, that is coming and bringing in both of these energies and connecting them and bridging them together, okay? So that's what you're supposed to be doing as well. So if you are lacking in one place or the other, or say you are floating away and you're always trying to be in the spirit world and your roots are, again, not too not too deep, then you're going to flow away and you're going to be stuck in the spirit world. And this is called, um, in psychology, you're going to have mental health issues, okay? Truth be told, that's what happens when people don't want to be grounded in reality and don't want to deal with their stuff, okay? So this is very important to do, is making sure that you're dealing with who you are with your past and letting things go and healing and then connecting both heaven and earth. Okay. So that you are balanced, you are healthy in mind, spirit, emotion, and of course, physicality. All right. Next one is the swan spirit. So it's time for a deep dive. The swan is all about deep healing. So this will be a perfect energy to use for the beginning of November when you have to do shadow work through Scorpio energy. Um, the swan is all about transformation as well. Because remember uh, the story of the ugly duckling. <laughs> the ugly duckling only thought itself as ugly based on you know their environment or the way that they felt about themselves. And then finally, they transformed themselves. They healed that uh, negative mindset and they became, they became a beautiful swan, okay? And that's what this is all about, is you healing, you having that time to do deep healing, transforming your mindset about yourself and about your past and about your future, okay? In order for you to become the swan, all right? So, next one is pink sapphire. Pink sapphire is all about healing the heart, Using pink sapphire will assist you with this. It will help you have more compassion for yourself, okay? It'll also, in turn, help you have compassion for others, as well as empathy for yourself, okay? Because it's so rare for people who are very empathetic to other, towards other people to have empathy for themselves. Why? Because they feel that if they do good, with others, then they are going to feel good as well. But that's a temporary feeling, you guys. That's so temporary. In order for you to feel good about yourself, you need to be good to yourself. You need to have empathy for yourself. You need to have compassion for yourself. You need to have love for yourself, okay? You cannot be superficial with this stuff, okay? That's what Pink Sapphire is going to help you understand is that this is all about deep love, deep inner healing, as well as um, compassion for yourself, okay? So using this energy, as well as the swan energy, when you do your shadow work for this uh, November before Sagittarius season comes about, will be very beneficial for you, all right? So that's all that I have for you guys. Thank you guys again for watching. And if you guys are interested in getting a uh, private reading or energy session, feel free to book through my website, www.stariari333.com. I do still have that sale for the um, limiting belief uh, healing and integration, okay? So go ahead and check that out. It's going to be uh, 30 minutes for $44 and it's over Zoom. So it'll be recorded for you and you can use the techniques that I talked to you about, the meditation that I talked to you about uh, at any time that you need to, okay? This is going to be a good ally, a good help for those who are struggling at this time with healing work, with, with uh, positive uh, mindsets, keeping that positive energy up, okay, through Scorpio season as we are in the shadows, okay? Um, and we have to become confrontational with ourselves, okay? So again, go to my website to book www.stariari33.com. Thank you again so much and have a wonderful rest of your month. Bye-bye.